Beneath the tranquil blue waters of Santorini, an unfolding seismic event is capturing the attention of scientists and observers alike. A persistent earthquake swarm continues to shake the region, pointing to a significant geological process at work. As time progresses, evidence increasingly suggests that this is primarily a tectonic phenomenon rather than a direct volcanic event. Understanding these tremors requires a closer look at the region's complex fault system and how the Earth's crust is subtly shifting beneath the Aegean Sea. Currently, most of the seismic activity is concentrated within a specific area, encircling the small island of Andros. When viewed through satellite imagery, such as Google Earth, a network of dark linear features crisscrossing the seafloor becomes apparent. These features represent fault lines, deep fractures in the Earth's crust that have developed over millennia. By tracing these formations, it becomes evident that they mark the boundaries between shallower and deeper sections of the seafloor, acting as visible scars of past and present geological movement. This region sits at the heart of an extensive tectonic system, where the crust is slowly being pulled apart. The fault structures, highlighted in geological studies, are direct results of the immense stress exerted over time. Over vast geological epochs, the Earth's crust has fractured and shifted incrementally, shaping the underwater landscape seen today. Each individual earthquake, though seemingly minor in the grand scale of planetary evolution, serves as a reminder of the relentless forces at play beneath the surface. Beyond the scientific intrigue, these underwater tremors hold serious implications. When seismic activity occurs beneath the sea, there is always the potential for disturbances to the ocean floor. Such shifts can lead to sudden displacement of water, raising concerns about undersea landslides or even tsunamis. Beneath the surface, the unfolding seismic activity holds consequences that extend far beyond the initial tremors. The persistent earthquakes raise questions about the underlying fault systems, the forces driving them, and the deeper geological processes shaping this volatile region. To understand what is happening beneath the seafloor, it is essential to examine the mechanics of how the Earth's crust responds to intense tectonic stress. The process is much like pulling apart a thick sheet of clay. At first, the material stretches, resisting the tension. But as the strain increases, small cracks begin to appear, spreading and deepening until the clay ultimately fractures into separate pieces. Similarly, the Earth's crust is constantly subjected to immense forces as tectonic plates shift and interact. Under prolonged stress, the crust stretches and eventually breaks along fault lines, creating deep fractures that allow massive blocks of rock to slip and move. Unlike the sudden snap of a breaking object, these geological shifts unfold over vast timescales. Each small movement along a fault may seem insignificant, but over thousands or even millions of years, these tiny adjustments accumulate, reshaping entire landscapes. What begins as a seemingly intact and uniform section of rock transforms into a fragmented, displaced structure as stress forces it apart. The once solid crust becomes a network of broken segments, each shifting independently in response to the relentless pull of tectonic forces. These movements, though imperceptible in the short term, represent a much larger geological evolution, one that continually sculpts the region, influencing everything from seismic activity to the very contours of the land and sea. A striking feature of this geological process is the way large sections of the Earth's crust gradually shift downward, a direct result of the immense stretching forces at play. As the crust is pulled apart, these downward movements create deep depressions known as basins, vast, low-lying areas that, over millions of years, accumulate layers of sediment. These basins, which can be observed today in the seafloor topography, shape the underwater landscape, forming an intricate pattern of deeper and shallower regions. This process can be compared to pulling apart a chocolate bar with a hardened caramel center. At first, the chocolate stretches, forming small cracks. But as the pulling force increases, 
sections begin to break and shift downward, exposing the gooey interior beneath. Similarly, the Earth's crust, though solid, behaves in a comparable way under immense tectonic stress. Instead of caramel, however, the space left behind by the sinking crust fills with sediment, water, or even molten rock over time, fundamentally altering the landscape. Satellite imagery reveals this dynamic structure in remarkable detail, showing steep underwater slopes where land masses drop sharply into the depths of the ocean. Rising above the waves, islands stand as remnants of a fractured crust, their rugged surfaces shaped by the same tectonic forces that continue to mold the region. The stark contrast between land and sea serves as a visible reminder of the powerful geological forces at work, where the Earth's surface is in a constant state of transformation. When visualized in cross-section, the interaction of these faults becomes even more apparent. Broken segments of crust shift in response to ongoing stress, creating an interconnected system of faults that extend deep into the Earth. As the stretching continues, occasional movements along these fault lines trigger seismic events, with one shift potentially altering the surrounding stress field and setting off further adjustments in nearby faults. This chain reaction, driven by the relentless pull of tectonic forces, is what fuels the region's ongoing seismic activity. A similar phenomenon can be observed with a spider web. If one section of the web is pulled or torn, the tension is redistributed, sometimes causing additional strands to snap in a cascading effect. Likewise, when stress is released along one fault, it can shift the balance of forces throughout the entire system, leading to further slips and earthquakes. Though these movements occur gradually over immense timescales, their impact is profound. With each shift, the crust is subtly reshaped, reinforcing the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the Earth's surface. The ongoing seismic activity in this region appears to be the result of a complex interplay between tectonic stress and additional underground processes. One crucial factor contributing to these earthquakes is the movement of deep-seated fluids. Beneath the surface, high-pressure water infused with dissolved minerals circulates through the Earth's crust. When these fluids seep into fault lines, they act like a natural lubricant, reducing friction and making it easier for sections of the crust to slip. This repeated slipping leads to a series of earthquakes concentrated in the same area, much like a door hinge that creaks and shifts when oil is applied, loosening up old, stuck joints. At the heart of the process is the fractured nature of the Earth's crust itself. Over vast geological timescales, the crust has been stretched, broken, and reshaped by relentless tectonic forces. The seafloor reflects this history through dramatic shifts in elevation, forming steep underwater cliffs and deep trenches along fault zones. When viewed from above using satellite imagery, these features appear as dark, linear depressions, tracing the pathways of ancient and active fractures. It's similar to an old cracked sidewalk. Each fissure tells a story of past stresses and movements, and when pressure builds, the cracks can shift, causing sections of pavement to rise or sink unexpectedly. By shifting perspective, a clearer picture of the region's structure emerges. Islands such as Amorgos and Andros rise above the water, their steep coastlines shaped by the same underlying fault systems that extend beneath the sea. The sharp underwater slopes and sudden drop-offs visible in satellite data are not random features, but direct imprints of the region's seismic history. These fault lines control the very shape of the seabed, much like the frame of a broken window determines how shattered glass fragments will settle into place. Where multiple faults intersect, the likelihood of intense earthquake activity increases dramatically. A shift along one fault can trigger movement in another, setting off a domino effect that releases seismic energy in a series of tremors. This chain reaction mirrors the behavior of a tightly stretched rope web. When one strand snaps, the tension is redistributed, putting additional stress on surrounding strands, which may also break in response. In the same way, Stress within the Earth's crust can transfer from one fault to another, generating waves of seismic activity that
that continue until the system settles into temporary stability. Ultimately, the Earth's crust is not a fixed, motionless shell, but a constantly evolving, dynamic surface. What appears to be solid ground is, in reality, a shifting, fractured puzzle, with each tremor representing a moment in its ongoing transformation. Understanding these patterns offers insight not only into the region's geological past, but also into the potential for future seismic events. The alignment of earthquake activity in this region is not a random occurrence, but a direct consequence of the underlying fault structures that shape the ocean floor. These faults, created over millions of years, act like deep scars in the Earth's crust, evidence of the immense forces constantly pulling and shifting the land beneath the sea. As tectonic plates stretch the crust apart, these fractures allow for movement, sometimes in small, incremental slips, and, at other times, in violent jolts that send tremors racing through the ground. To better understand this, imagine pulling apart a loaf of crusty bread. As the bread is stretched, cracks form on the surface, deepening and widening over time. Some sections break off cleanly, while others remain loosely connected, waiting for just the right amount of force to finally separate. The Earth's crust behaves similarly, except instead of a baker's hands applying pressure, it is the immense and relentless power of Earth's shifting tectonic plates. The more the crust stretches, the more fractures appear, and with each new break, there is potential for movement that releases energy in the form of earthquakes. One of the greatest concerns with this particular fault system is the possibility of a much larger earthquake, one strong enough to shift an entire portion of the ocean floor downward by several meters. Though a displacement of 10, 15, or even 20 feet might seem insignificant in comparison to the vast expanse of the Earth's crust, the consequences could be anything but minor. The real danger lies not in the movement itself, but in what it does to the water above it. When the seabed suddenly drops, it disturbs the massive column of water resting on top, much like what happens when a heavy stone is thrown into a calm pond. The impact forces the water outward in a series of ripples. Only in this case, those ripples can become towering tsunami waves, racing across the ocean at speeds comparable to a jetliner. Not all tsunamis form from the downward motion of the seabed. In other regions, where compressional tectonic forces dominate, sections of the ocean floor are thrust upward instead. This is like a person quickly pushing up on the bottom of a bathtub. Water is instantly displaced, surging outward and creating powerful waves. Some of the most devastating tsunamis in history have resulted from this kind of upward thrust, as the sudden movement injects enormous amounts of energy into the ocean. Throughout history, this region has experienced powerful seismic events, with some exceeding magnitude 7. One of the most significant was a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake in 1956, which unleashed an immense amount of energy and triggered a devastating tsunami. The precise cause of the tsunami remains debated, whether it resulted solely from fault movement or if an underwater landslide played a role. Given the steep slopes and sudden drop-offs visible on the seafloor, it is possible that intense shaking dislodged large amounts of sediment, sending it cascading downward and disturbing the water column above. This kind of displacement can generate tsunamis just as effectively as a sudden fault shift, creating waves that radiate outward with destructive force. The very structure of the ocean floor serves as a record of the immense geological forces at work. The deep trenches, sharp ridges, and abrupt elevation changes are not just random features. They are evidence of a dynamic and evolving landscape. The seafloor here is not static, but is constantly being reshaped by the same forces that continue to generate earthquakes. While the movements occurring now may be imperceptibly small, they are part of a much larger and ongoing geological process that has been unfolding for millions of years. A closer look at recent earthquake activity in the region reveals a pattern. Clusters of seismic events aligning along higher areas of the crust where the water is shallower. This concentration suggests that stress is accumulating along fault lines, 
gradually building up until sections of the crust give way. In a geologically active region like this, scientists envision the landscape beneath the surface as a complex network of fractures, where immense blocks of the Earth's crust gradually shift downward over time. These movements, though occurring deep within the planet, far below the ocean floor, are revealed through patterns of seismic activity. Each earthquake represents a small slip along these faults, with motion extending miles into the Earth's crust. The terrain here is anything but uniform. It is a fractured and dynamic structure shaped by relentless tectonic forces that have been at work for millions of years. The larger forces driving this activity stem from the movement of Earth's tectonic plates. Beneath this region, the African plate is slowly descending beneath another, dragging sections of the crust southward. Meanwhile, the Anatolian plate shifts westward, creating a tearing effect that contributes to the ongoing stretching of the crust. This geological tug-of-war is responsible for the persistent swarm of earthquakes seen in the area. The complexity of these interactions is staggering, with nearly every nation in this part of the world having experienced the consequences of seismic activity at some point in its history. As the earthquakes continue, scientists closely monitor known fault lines, looking for patterns that might hint at what is to come. Each tremor is a small adjustment in an ever-changing system, but whether these events will culminate in a larger, more destructive earthquake remains uncertain. For now, it is a matter of observation and analysis, as this intense seismic activity shows no signs of slowing. What is unfolding here is a vivid reminder that Earth is a living, shifting planet. Tectonic plates constantly reshape the surface, placing stress on the crust until it inevitably fractures. While this process can be imperceptibly slow at times, its impact is profound. And though such seismic events are currently concentrated in this region, similar processes are playing out across the globe, quietly shaping the land beneath our feet. A powerful 5.2 magnitude tremor struck on Wednesday evening, the most significant quake recorded in days amid an ongoing series of tremors. This event, the first to breach a 5.0 magnitude since the disturbances began last week, has compelled Greek authorities to declare a state of emergency extending until March 3rd. The seismic activity has led to the evacuation of approximately 11,000 individuals from an island that typically welcomes over 3.4 million tourists annually and supports a close-knit community of around 20,000 permanent residents. In a bid to ensure the safety of those affected, officials have arranged additional flights to transport evacuees to the mainland. However, rescue efforts initially encountered challenges as high winds prevented ferries from departing the ports, a disruption that was resolved by the following day. While there have been no reports of major structural damage, the situation has galvanized local and national agencies to prepare for the possibility of a larger, more devastating earthquake. In the midst of this unfolding crisis, national leaders have mobilized every available resource. Following a high-level meeting with senior officials, Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis confirmed that the full capacity of the state apparatus was in action, urging citizens to adhere strictly to official directives as the island grapples with nature's unpredictable might. As the story of Santorini's restless fault lines unfolds, the island stands as a poignant reminder of nature's untamed power. While current observations offer no immediate threat, the potential for a devastating tsunami remains a stark possibility that continues to captivate scientists and the public alike. This investigation into the geological forces beneath one of the world's most iconic destinations invites a deeper reflection on the balance between beauty and peril. Thank you for joining this exploration into the heart of nature's mysteries. If this journey has sparked your curiosity, please like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into the dynamic world beneath our feet. Stay vigilant, stay curious, and until next time, let the pulse of the earth inspire you.